Space goes. 15 seconds till showtime. Hey, Brack. How much do you tip? Oh, I can usually go about 30 degrees. Any more than that, and I fall right on my head. Zorak means how much gratuity do you leave at a restaurant? Like I said, I'll do about 30 degrees, and then boom! Over I go! Five seconds. I like to leave 20% if the service is excellent, and 15% if it's just average. And if the service is really lousy, I set off a stink bomb and run. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Brack. You know, everybody at one time or another has enjoyed that wonderful oriental delight, the poo-poo platter. Well, today I'm gonna go one step better and prepare Brack's special poo-poo poo platter. You know, it has an extra poo there. It's the extra poo that makes all the difference. I could've taken the easy road and did a poo platter, but who wants a platter with just one poo? I found that even the conventional two-poo platter leaves one a little bit, how should I say it, unfulfilled. I trust you'll find that's not the case when you experience the thrill of an extra poo. Rack, uh, what? There's no time left for your poo-poo platter. You mean my poo-poo-poo platter. Whatever. Put your poo in the refrigerator and we'll try to work it into another show. Somebody's gonna steal my poo, I just know it. What if I make a sign that says, this is Brack poo, don't touch it. That should do it. Zorak, do you know what I was just thinking? Uh, what'd you say? I said, do you know what I was just thinking about? No, I don't. You know why? Because it's metaphysically impossible for me to know what you were thinking about. You might as well ask me what the monkeys in the zoo were thinking about. As a matter of fact, I was at the zoo the other day and I established telepathic communication with one of the monkeys. He was pondering the process of evolution, you know, the unfairness of it all. Either that or he was wishing he had a ham sandwich. When I was little, I used to go to the zoo and see this gorilla named Butch. All he did all day long was flick big boogers at the people who were watching him. I used to say to myself, what a life! I think that's when I decided to go into show business. Now, how did you know the gorilla's name was Butch? There was this sign on the cage that said, Hello, my name is Butch. Please don't feed me and watch out for flying boogers. Brack. What? You're an idiot! Well, what if I am? So, Zorak, would you like to know what I was just thinking about? No, but... Tell me anyways. I was just thinking uh, that um, it would be... Well, that's great. Now I forgot. Maybe you weren't thinking about anything. That wouldn't be so unusual. Nope, I distinctly remember that there was a thought buzzing around in my big old head. I thought I smelled something burning. What? I said, if you had a thought inside your head, it must have been pretty lonely. <laughs> what do you mean? Never mind. Sheesh. How'd I get on this show? You know, the last I heard, my gorilla friend Butch was playing in a band in Seattle. With the lights out, here's a bugger! Here we are now, have a bugger! Here I am, star of my own TV show. Oh, the river of life! How it rolls and flows. Where it stops, nobody knows. Kind of makes you think, don't it? Brother, what I wouldn't do for a ham sandwich right about now. <laughs> now, here's a tasty little nugget of joy from Zorak. I love the word snack. I love everything about it. 
I love the way it sounds, the way it smells, the way it tastes when you say it. Snack. Snack. I won't say it again. I don't want to wear it out. Snack. There, I've said it again! Ah! Crispy cylinders of cheese, lighter than air. Potatoes, thinly sliced, fried, then dusted with artificial seasoning. Rows of slippery donuts and salted peanuts and caramel corn. Oh, how I love thee. Caramel corn. I'm rambling, rambling, rambling a high and low. I'm rambling, ramble, ramble, rambling, rambling everywhere I go. I ramble down to visit with Mary Jane. But she's up and moved away and changed her name. So I go rambling, yeah, rambling. I'm just a rambling guy. I'm wandering, yeah, wandering, wandering here and there. And I'm wondering, yeah, boy, I'm wandering. If I pack me enough underwear I wander down to visit with Agnes Rose She slams the door so hard on me it breaks my nose Yeah, I go wandering My, oh my I'm just a wandering guy, oh yeah Just a rambling, wandering guy Tip your weight, staff. Here's a letter from Garrett Strickland, McDermott Ohuo. Dear Zorak, I am not human. I am really an evil alien from the planet Zarblag. 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 Who do I know on Zarblag? If we join forces, I bet we can rule the universe. Ha ha ha! Meet me on Venus at 5 o'clock Monday, or else. Uh, no can do. At 5 o'clock on Mondays, I'm in my I'm okay, you stink assertiveness class. I'm mean enough, I'm evil enough, and doggone it, people hate me! <laughs> Here's a letter from Tim Shorkey, Burton, Michigan. Dear Space Ghost, I'd love to sit and chew the fat with you, but then you would probably think that I am a crazed psychotic fan out to kill you. Bye-bye. Well there, Mr. Crazed Psychotic Fan out to kill me, thanks so much for the little note. Zorak. <laughs> Call security. Space Ghost, my name is Anthony Sylvie, and I live in Victorville, California. I am four years old. My mom and I think your show is cool. We also like how Zorak is always teasing you. Give him a good zap for me. Well, give the people what they want, I always says. Buckle up, Spanky. You know they're not serious. <laughs> Everyone knows the story of Genghis Khan, the great and terrible conqueror of China and Russia. Now let's hear the rest of the story. Few people know that Genghis Khan had a twin brother, Morty. Morty Khan, in his day, was a very successful stand-up comedian. But one night, while performing in a popular Mongolian comedy club, Genghis Khan and a few of his most fierce warriors dropped in to catch Morty's show. When Morty opened his act with the joke, take my wife, please, one of Genghis's henchmen picked up Morty's wife and ran from the club, never to be seen again. Morty's heart was broken. He retired from show business and spent his remaining years playing with his dollies in a sandbox. And now you know the rest of the story.
good day. Roses are red, roses are blue. It's time for Poets Corner. Yahoo! This poem is entitled, A Few of the Things That I Loves. <clears throat> I love the smell of bacon frying, crispy on the griddle. I love a nice hot meteor shower, and I love a catchy riddle. Hey, Brack, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? A big stinky beast? No. Something with two heads? No. Garbage truck? Oh, forget it. But where was I? I love my lovely record player, even though it's broke. I love the sound of chalk on a blackboard. I love a really good joke. Hey, Brack, knock, knock. What's that noise? Knock, knock. You heard it too? No, when I say knock, knock, you say who's there. Okay, who's there? Tangerine. Who's there? Tangerine who? Tangerine who? Tangerine the doorbell. What? Tangerine, can't you ring? Hello? Hello? I got a joke. All right, what? Somebody broke my matter. What's a matter? I don't know. What's the matter with you? I'll tell you what's the matter. I can't find my henway. What's a henway? Oh, about three or four pounds. <laughs> Whoa, boy! I don't get that one either. <clears throat> I look out. My mother said to me one day, my little tater tot, we're going to the circus whether you like it or not. I told her she could take a hike. She kicked me in the rear. I said, all right, I'll go, but let me just make one thing clear. Don't send in the clowns. Don't send in the clowns. Don't send in the clowns. They always bring me down, hey. So my mother dragged me to the circus on that day. She bought me cotton candy, which I quickly threw away. There were jugglers, acrobats, a monkey, in a dress. The elephant made quite a stink. It was okay, I guess. But then came the clowns. Oh, no, not the clowns. Don't send in those clowns. Anything but them. Don't send in the clowns. Oh, why did it have to be clowns? I ran home from the circus and I never went again. Fooey. Space Ghost, we love you, man. We really dig your show. No, no, you don't understand. We love you. Signed, Wreck, Lester Beth, Squally, and Foo Foo. P.S. We are all over 21. Wreck plays bass for a punk band. Lester Beth, who is a girl, sings. Squally is a housewife, and Foo Foo works on cars. <laughs> Hey, Fufu, if you're out there, get over here and fix my stinking Phantom Cruiser. Here's a line from Joy Hawley in Newport News, Virginia. Dear, dear Brack, I'm not a kid. I'm a grandmother who watches your show every day. 
I think you're great. You make me laugh. <laughs> oh, Granny, I think Zorak and Space Ghost should show you more respect. Hey, you boys better start showing me some respect. Or this granny here's gonna show you what for! What do you mean? I mean she'll knock your stupid head off! Boo, 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 boo. Did you hear that, Zorak? Mm? Oh, yeah. Don't let the granny get me, Space Ghost. <laughs> you guys don't think I'm gonna have power stirring trouble now, do you? Do you guys think I'm gonna have power stirring trouble? This is really... It's honking me off. Speaking of honking me off... Have a nice day! Shut up! And so the happy little monkey found his bag of pixie dust and flew off into the land of Nod, and he lived happily ever after. Wasn't that the nicest story, Zorak? Are you talking to me? Come on, I just read you the story of Chucky Monkey in Fairyland. Didn't you hear any of it? No. All right, I guess I'll just have to read it again. One day, Chucky Monkey went to the market. Oh, I'm so hungry, Chucky said. Why are you punishing me this time? Because you're evil. Oh, I'm so hungry. The word for today is a Spanish word, gracias. It means friend. Thank you. You're welcome. No, gracias means thank you. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't, my little green gracias. El gusto is loco. And that's the word for today. Now it's time for the Cartoon Planet Storybook. Today's story is called, What Does My Second Cousin Do? It was written by Jeffrey Clay. Oh, he's very good. What does my second cousin do? Is he a farmer? No, he doesn't have a cow. Is he a clown? No, he doesn't have big floppy shoes. Is he a policeman? I'm innocent. No, he doesn't have a gun or like donuts. Is he a cowboy? I don't think so. He can't ride a horse. Could my second cousin be a baseball player? No, he doesn't have a bat or a glove, and he isn't a millionaire. Maybe he's a lawyer. Nah, he's not that smart. Come to think of it, my second cousin really doesn't know how to do much of anything. Maybe he should be a talk show host. <laughs> the end. Got a problem? I'm listening. The kids at school don't like me. My girlfriend says I smell. The teachers say I'm lazy. Sometimes I want to yell. Zora, can you help me? Sure, kid. Just tell old Zorak. Now what's your problem? This mask is really itchy. My underwear's too tight. No one understands me. Yeah, right. Now it's time for Zorak's help with. Zorak, here's a caller with a question. Okay. Zorak? Yes? I've got a problem. 
problem. I'm listening. My big brother always teases me. How can I get him to stop? You can't. No way. It's impossible. Big brothers tease little sisters. Big sisters tease little brothers. It's been that way since time began. You want to try and change something that's worked for 10 trillion years? No, I guess not. Then deal with it. Next caller. Zorak? Yes, it is I. There's a girl at school I sort of like. Uh-huh. But she ignores me all the time. Mm-hmm. How do I get her to notice me? Try wearing your underwear on the outside of your trousers. See if she notices that. Hey, great idea. Thanks. Madonna did it. We'll be back next week, same time, for more of Zorak's Helpful Hints. Bye-bye. And then you keep doing that till he zaps you. Oh, hi, kids. Zorak is teaching me how to be evil. That's right. Okay, so I land on a planet and I say, Howdy there. How's it going? Take me to your leader. Y'all will be destroyed right directly. No, 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 no. You have to sound evil. Oh, well, how about this? Hello, you big jerky. Uh, I'm going to give you what for. Face it, Space Cheese. You'll never be as evil as I. Oh, dang. Now it's time to say goodbye to Dora.